Hello guys, welcome to this episode of Fish Nevada. Today I am out at uh, Topaz, well not right now, but I was out at Topaz, breaking in my brand new boat, which I will do a walkthrough of just after this episode. Um, nothing too crazy today, I was just playing around at Topaz trying to get the skunk off the boat, so I really only got to, a little bit to show you, and then we'll get right into the boat. So I hope you guys enjoy the fishing. It was pretty fun, not a whole lot of action. We just had a cold front come through. Try and see how I could work with that, and hopefully you guys enjoy the episode. Thank you. I know there was one along this bank yesterday that was following my stuff, but I could not get him to actually take it. There it is. Yep. What are you doing, It's a jig. It's a breeding pair. Yeah, uh, that's a jig. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Oh, I see the other one. Yeah, you see him? Toss to him. Yeah, try. Oh, yeah. This is a nice fish. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is a giant. <laughs> He's hooked good, I think. That other one's probably the male. All right, I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't. She's right in front of this fish here. Come on, little guy. God, he's got so much energy. That is an absolute stud. Yes, on the jig. <laughs> oh yeah, she was hooked. Hell yeah, I gotta scale it here. There we go. Trophy is three pounds, three five. Ow, she's biting me. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, girl. Swim right off, nice and healthy. All righty guys, so we're back at the crib. After that, only got one today, but luckily it was over three pounds, which is technically a Nevada trophy for smallmouth. Um, I actually previously had a trophy smallmouth out of Topaz when I was younger, and I actually have the certificate for it, so that one's just going to go back and be released and hopefully continue its spawn. The male half of that fish that was uh, part of their spawning pair just hung out right by the boat the entire time. Uh, we pulled that fish up and when I let it go, they just went right back together. So those two fish, if they hadn't already spawned, they will probably continue and go about doing their thing and hopefully repopulate that lake with some more giant smallies. As promised, I would like to go over what I ended up getting for a boat. I am extremely excited about this. I finally pulled the trigger on it. If you guys have been watching this channel for a long time, You've probably seen the Slayer, which is my little 12-foot Klamath. I still have the Slayer. I love that boat. I've caught a ton of fish on that boat, and I will always use that. It's great for small ponds. Uh, just a little trolley motor on the back of that thing, but I do have the Humminbird. And I'll explain why I don't need the Humminbird on this boat. So, without further ado, let's get right into it.
so here it is. This is a Tracker 175 TXW Tournament Edition. It's a 17 foot 7 inch aluminum boat. So I'm just going to start from the back. I was just working on covering it up and I realized I wanted to make this walk through. But we'll just go from the back and work our way forwards. So powering this thing, I've got a 75 horse Mercury. It's got three batteries which charge off of a triple bank. Uh, dual for the trolling motor and one for cranking. I've got two storage containers back here that are tackle sized. I'm just storing fenders in there right now because I haven't had a chance to go home and organize this thing yet. All right, so we got a live well right here. Big old live well, which apparently did not drain all the way while I was on my way home, but that's okay. It's got timer and all that stuff. Got some center under seat storage. That's where the battery charging bank controller is. Our gauge cluster here. It's got a low rance hook unit back there. It's probably a five inch screen on that thing. Cup holders. It's got two rod lockers, uh, one on each side. Those are out to seven feet. So I've got some smaller rods just stored in there that I can keep on here for if somebody comes with me and doesn't have gear. It's got a huge center storage absolutely massive and I just have some junk in there but we are going to be putting some tackle in there up front we've got the recessed foot control Minn Kota 70 pound trolling motor here and a front mounted graph on there so that's a 24 volt trolling motor and it works awesome it got pretty windy on me a couple times I was using this thing one of the things I really like about this boat is you've got a trim control right up here. So, if, like, I tend to leave my motor down when I hop up to fish. If I'm coming across something, I can just trim the motor up real quick. With the boat came this super sleek trailer. 2020 on this boat. It's brand spanking new. It's already got water spots and dust. Because I have taken it out three times just to get the one fish get the skunk off. It's got the folding trailer here where you can actually fold the nose around, uh, keep it in a garage or something, which is super nice. I think it might actually fit in my garage. We're going to check. And then I love this step here. This is pretty handy to have. Pretty much all I have ever looked for in a bass boat. It's just big enough that I can go on pretty good sized water with it, and it's just small enough that I can still get into places like Squaw Creek or you know smaller lakes out in Nevada so we're gonna be using this a ton you guys will probably see it in the future now with that said I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I know I only caught one fish but I was more concerned about getting the skunk out of the boat I didn't end up staying out very long because it got windy anyways uh, I just didn't feel like battling it but I mainly wanted to walk you guys through the boat so I hope you guys like videos where you actually walk through the boat, get to see something new like that. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of an idea of what maybe you would want to look for in a bass boat for the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That was a really nice fish. Super happy always catching a, a nice smallmouth, but I'm extra happy when I catch a trophy smallmouth. So what better way to break in a boat than with a trophy fish? Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Check out my other videos. They're going to be linked at the end here. Uh, feel free to browse through the channel. And if you guys have any comments you want to leave, please feel free to leave them. I do try to comment back on everything. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have a good day.